let's see how much I was able to make using Uber for a couple of days. And then let's see how much I was able to use that to flip into the ultimate amount that I was able to make for a week. Let's get into it. Welcome back to Tatum Talk. Today we are talking about stretching your dollars. Some people say, I don't have enough cash to get started. How can I start? I don't have the cash to buy the supplies. And I'm here to tell you that you can make the cash, right? I'm gonna show you in this experiment how I started from zero. I'm not gonna use my debit card. I'm not gonna pull money out of the ATM or anything. I'm gonna start from zero as if I'm a person on the other side of this camera. So I used Uber because Uber pays out the same day, right? So any of those apps, DoorDash I believe is the same way, um, Postmates is probably the same way. So basically I used Uber to earn cash and then with the cash that I earned, I went and stretched my dollars by buying medical supplies. Buy some medical supplies and sell them in order to get stretch my dollars, in order to double my dollars, right? So we'll see, starting from zero at, on Tuesday, so practically the beginning of the week, what I could turn that into by week's end. I wanna point out that although I'm using a car to do these orders, I remember when I first signed up to Uber, back in January of 2020 is when I signed up. I didn't have a car then. I signed up as a walker. So I happened luckily to be living in an area which is Adams Morgan in DC. They had a lot of restaurants. I mean, literally I could stay in the house, turn on the app and wait for an order to come to the phone before I even had to leave to go pick it up. There was two blocks away, like a, a strip of 50 different restaurants. And maybe within radius, another 40 restaurants, like almost 100 restaurants that I could walk to. So I definitely did that. Um, as soon as I got my ID, I was like three months out of jail. I had gotten my ID and that's the first thing I did was sign up to Uber because I knew that it was cash coming in every day. And I could tell you that on as a walker, I did it at lunchtime, came in, took a break, got something to eat, went back out at dinner. I probably did it about six days a week. I want to say I was able to make about 450 to 475 a week, every week as a walker. Okay, so anybody can do this. I'm going to show you the area and you'll see how many restaurants is there. So if you want to do something like this, I would say go to an area that's cluttered with restaurants because you're guaranteed to get orders and go doing it during a peak time, like a lunch time or a dinner time is the best. And then of course, certain days would be better, like a Friday where people get paid is probably going to be better than a Wednesday, right? And the weekends definitely because people tend to eat out more on the weekends. So you could definitely get your cash up like that. And then I'm going to show you what you can do to, to stretch it, right? Everybody needs to stretch their money these days. Here's an example. All on the left side of the street. Can't see now because a bunch of traffic, but all on the left side of the street is restaurants. And then also to the right, this whole block. The next block too. Picking up. I don't expect this to be a good night where a few orders and like two hours worth of work will get me close to 100 bucks because it's a Tuesday so just gonna see what happens but I normally don't even do this for like 
a Tuesday, I wouldn't waste my time. Um, I only come like Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, but we'll see. This next one is for ten dollars and some change. Hi, is one of those for selfie? Yep, that's it. Thank you so much. Good night. This one is for ten dollars and some cheese. This one I'm picking up now is six eighty. This one is six dollars. Not at all bad for a Tuesday. Look at that. I surprised even myself. Who knew this could happen on a Tuesday? I'm going to point out a few things here. So the amount of time worked, three hours and 28 minutes, roughly breaks down to about, what, uh, 25 an hour? No, 25 and some change. An hour, not bad. 10 trips. Most of it was in tips. See, this is why I go to the particular area where I do Uber Eats at is the only area I do it in, which is Adams Morgan, because the demographic of that area seems to tip a little bit better. Not to mention there's plenty of restaurants, so I know there's plenty of opportunities for an order to come. Okay, so that was Tuesday, moving right along. So, so far, we're about at maybe 40 bucks. Well, look at Wednesday. Did a little bit better than Tuesday. Hmm. And notice, there was less hours worked. And notice this, even more tips in an hour less of the time. Hmm, interesting. Well, this was Thursday. As you can see, it was not as great as the previous two nights. However, it's easy to get a little bit spoiled when you have a good run and then you come up happen upon something like this, which this is an average night. The other two nights were kind of like exceptional. You never know what you're gonna get though until you actually get out there and turn the app on. Not bad though. Not bad. to meet a customer he only has four boxes um eight dollars a box and that's going to turn into sixty dollars yeah. hey. okay let me just look at the expiration date yeah. You just got these? Yeah. Oh, 10, 11, 22. Yeah. They all say the same? Yeah. Uh-huh, 11, 22. Mm -hmm. uh, 11, 22. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Hey, thank you. All right, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, we're on day number three. Let's see how much we can make today. Um... Uh, 
today I only had one customer to pick up from. I know I have somebody Saturday, so like not tomorrow, tomorrow's Friday. Saturday, I'm picking up supplies. I don't know how many boxes yet. Okay, I just picked these up. These are inhalers. I got two of these. I paid 25 a piece and I'm getting back 65 a piece. This one, I paid 20. I'm getting back uh, 40. And this one is not, this is just uh, needles. Uh, this one is called Lancet, not a high retail value. I paid $2, I'm only gonna get back $4. Okay, so next. This is my morning nutrition. I'm about to run up out of here because I just got a call from a customer, a new customer at that. He has some medical supplies, so I want to go grab those. And I just know that my morning is going to go really fast. I may have to meet someone right after him. This is it, and then I'm out the door. Okay, so I just picked up a box. I thought I was getting like four boxes. I bought enough cash for like four boxes, but he didn't want to sell them all to me because I guess he's not really sure um, how many they need to keep. Okay, so this is a insulin pen. I got, uh, I paid, I paid $50 for this. I can get back 150. So I thought I was getting four boxes of these. I thought I was gonna pay 200 and get back 600. Not today, but this is good. Hit like on this video, just for me sharing the information. If you learned anything, just hit like, <clears throat> or just watch one of the ads all the way through to the end. Instead of hitting skip, just watch one of the ads. Do one or the other, please, and thank you. I just pulled up here to this holiday inn. Hi, Daniel. You spoke to me on the phone. I'm this is what he gave me. This is a quick pen. This I could sell for, I could flip it for 75. I got it for 35. So already I made $40. Here we go, let's go. Keep going. Okay, I'm pulling up now to my next customer. This is just for one box. This is an inhaler this time. Hi. Hi. Okay, I'm getting ready to um, send her a cash app right now. What I picked up was an inhaler. Uh, I paid 25 for it and I'm gonna flip it for 65. You should sanitize in between these pickups because you're touching items that who knows how many people touched, right? So to be on the safe side, we're gonna always sanitize. I won't make it easy for you now. You got two minutes of my time. Slip into your dreams tonight. Oh, so give me, so give me your all. I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars. Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind. Just watch me break it. That was probably three hours a day over a four day period, right? So about 12 hours in total. 
of the 292, I used 289, 289 to buy the supplies that I then sold and made 664, which the profit was the profit was 375. So I started at the end, beginning of the week, zero, right? By week's end, almost $700. Not a lot of money, but if you think about it, the hours that I worked in comparison to the amount that was made. In 12 hours, it took me to work the, the what I was getting from Uber, and then I stretched that into the 664, right? <clears throat> so if you think about it, that's like 12 hours. That's like two days. That's what most people do in two days. And then the hours, the time that it took me to then go meet people, the different people, and buy the supplies from them wasn't that much. It's literally like five minutes here, 10 minutes there. So you could add that up too. And then driving time, you know, maybe an extra two hours. So we still at 14 hours. That's still two work, two working days in order for me to make um, 660, what did I say it was? 664. So basically, are you gonna make 664 work in two days at your job? Probably not, right? You're probably gonna make like 125, 150 a day. So maybe 300 day, 300 in two days. So this is a way for you to stretch your dollars. No matter, no matter what situation you're in, if you're doing it just to get a little extra to save, if you're doing it just to get a little extra to pay down your debt, maybe your credit card debt, or you wanna get a little extra to invest in crypto. This is just a way for you to get a little extra money. Still do what you're doing. Just take that and then do the extra step. As an aside, I'm going to show you Sunday. I just worked Sunday because they had a, a bonus going on and I was able to make extra. So I worked Sunday. This, I made $149. But at the end of the night, I pulled up in front of this restaurant. And the same restaurant I was going to pick up an order from, this guy was going to pick up an order. And he got out of his car and the car got stolen. What the hell did you just say? And I knew it was something going on around me, but I didn't really know what it was. I saw him running. First, I saw these two cars. And I saw, it just was like they, they was just in the middle of the street. They didn't park or nothing. And I was just looking through my window like, I wonder why they sitting there like that. It was odd. Like, it, it stood out. And then the next thing I know, they took off really fast and another car took off really fast behind them. So it was two cars together. And then I saw this guy running and he ran around the corner the same way that the cars turned. And I'm thinking, did he just get out of an Uber? Did he leave something in the Uber? I didn't know what was going on. But as I was standing in front of the restaurant waiting to get my order, he came back. And then he started talking to the lady that was uh, in the window giving us the food. She said, they took your car? Like, this is the second time this happened today. And we were like, what? It was another person standing there. We said, she said, yeah, this happened today, earlier. They took somebody else's car. And I told him that I've heard of this. They've been doing this all summer. So if you're in DC area, be careful. When you get out your car, you need to lock your doors. He said he had the keys in his car, in his pocket, I mean. He said he had the keys in his pocket. I don't know how they took off with the car. I guess he left it unlocked and running. I don't know what happened. But anyway, I had talked to an Uber driver before, maybe two months ago, and he said the same thing happened to him. His car was taken. He had a tracking on it, though. He was able to get it back in like two hours. He said it was some kids, they were joyriding. So I told this guy the same thing. Like that guy had a tracking device, do you have a way to track it? And he had totally forgotten in a moment of panic that he could open his phone. He did have a way to track it. He had just gotten this car too, it was brand new, 2022 Elantra or something. He just got it like a month ago. So he was able to track it. And I told him, just tell the cops where it is. I said, do you want me to drive you there? And he said, no, he said, the cops told me to just sit here and wait. So um, I hope he got it back, I don't know. But that's what's going on in DC. And another aside, if you're an Uber driver or cab driver, or I don't know, if you just drive a lot for a living, 
Look, there's this app that I use, right? It's called Get Upside. I'm going to leave the link below. If you download this app between now and the next like probably 10 days, they are paying you for referrals. So they'll pay you $15 for a person, every person that you refer. But even if you don't use it to refer people, it's good just to have. I've been using it now for like a month and I already have $34 back. They pay you in cash back. So after I get gas, I upload my receipt and within like a day or two, they send money into that account of the app and then you could cash out to a gift card or you could cash out to your account. So right now I have like $34 and I didn't even do anything. All I did was just get gas. Like I'm gonna get gas anyway. So I'm, I'll leave the link below if you're interested. If you're interested in knowing how you could buy and sell medical commodities, there is a training if you click the link below. It's like a two hour training and it's, there is a fee to it, but I have a code for you. It's gonna get you $50 off. It's not that expensive in the first place and it is very valuable. You will make that money back 10 times over.